Every simulator game in the world asks that one major question. Have you ever wanted to... And then you fill in the gap with what you think people will want to do. Thing is, I'm almost certain no one has ever wanted to experience the life of a garbage man. The filth, disease, the smells, the hard work, and the tedious long hours are neither enjoyable nor desired. But here we are. Rondo Media gives us a game just about that. These kinds of games have a bit of fun to them. Super not serious games, like Goat Simulator, just have you running around doing random weird crap all for giggles. Goat Simulator gets away with it because they're not really trying to simulate a goat. It's just a comedic context. Other simulators, like Farming Simulator, have to be spot on to the experience and as authentic as possible. Recycle tries to be authentic to the Garbage Man simulation, but really, they should have gone for the comedic undertone. There's just so much stuff that can be placed in a game like this where things are comedic. On top of that, you have bugs in a comedic game. No one cares. You can't run over people, but you can get a ticket for running a red light. That's a huge misstep. Authentic doesn't work for this game because it isn't that authentic. Being able to design your own dump trucks would have been a huge win for this game. Even if it just meant buying various parts to the truck. Instead, you were given the choice of five dump trucks that unlock as you level up. It's a real huge lost opportunity because waste is not a simple thing to manage. Waste is split up into a lot of categories. First, you have your recyclables that need to be sorted and processed quite differently. Then you have your non-recyclable garbage that has to be placed in a landfill or incinerated. Once in a landfill, you have to have various heavy equipment moving it around to make more space or an incinerator a safety team to inspect. Then you have those giant drums of kitchen oils that have to be converted into home fuels. There's an entire porta potty industry out there that is designed to vacuum suck up shit. That isn't even adding in business like steel recycling. Waste management is actually a really complicated operation. This game doesn't have quite the size and scope to carry its infinite complexity. Instead, you're left with a town that is actually way too small for the kind of operation they're describing. You pull up to a small home, you lift the dumpster, and there's 500 kilograms of garbage in there. That just doesn't make sense. The game is quite simple. You pull up to a dumpster and hit a bunch of buttons in proper order to get your helper to get the contents of that dumpster into your truck. From there, you just do your route. You always have to run at least one truck, but you can automate the remainder of your operations. And that really is the problem with the game. There is this logistical side to the game uh, as a garbage empire. It makes sense, and it's fine. But with you controlling an individual garbage truck inefficiently by yourself, the game is splintered. You have this choice of either being a garbage man simulator or a business simulator for the garbage industry. On top of that, the game has a lot of really weird bugs. First, you really can't save your games ever, it seems. There's also some really weird glitches with camera angles, and the cameras in this game are particularly not good. Um, specifically moving forward, there's tons of blind spots that would be very easy to fix if you could just rotate the camera around. This game is not fit for sale and should actually be removed from Steam.